blooming right now could take a late weekend hit. Wow. Oh, gee whiz. All right. Well, with the holidays just ending, families who spent time with elderly parents or relatives in a nursing home or assisted living facility may be wondering if their loved ones are being cared for properly. Indeed. Trial attorney Matt Minner joins us with more. Welcome. Happy to be here. Thank indeed, you. Indeed. Indeed. This is something that as we mm. get older, we as caregivers, children, have to, I guess, be in tuned and, and mindful of places that um, our parents, our aging parents, may have to go and live in. And I think a part of that process is trying to figure out which one. Where do you, where do you entrust? This loved one. Th that's exactly right. And, um, you know, 10,000 people a day in the United States are turning 65, which means that uh, the need for good, high quality nursing homes is uh, higher than ever, and it's going to continue to increase. And there are some very good nursing homes out there, but there are some uh, where problems occur. Uh, there's, there's a lot of statistics that show an alarming number of residents that are abused or just neglected, and that, that neglect can come in in several forms. It can be physical, it can be, you know, sexual abuse as well, um, and it can be emotional. So you want to pick the right nursing home. How do you do that? Um, there's cer certain things that I would recommend that you look for and things that, that we see. Um, one, it, does the nursing home have insurance? I mean, it, what kind of business is going to run without insurance? Do they try to slide these arbitration clauses in, in the fine print that means it, an arbitration clause is something that a lot of nursing homes will put in that will say, uh, if something happens that, that where your loved one is abused or neglected, you don't have a right to bring it to court. Hmm. Um, we're going to let an arbitrator decide whether anything happened. Why, why would they do that if they, if they stand behind their staff right. and their right. team? Right. Um, there is a five-star rating system that is out there, and you can literally Google that online, and there are surveys where folks go in and they, they analyze the nursing homes on an annual basis. Check out the rating system. L look at the comments. I mean, there's a lot of things like that you can do before you even um, walk into the first nursing home to, to evaluate. I know with HIPAA laws and th that it may be tough to get referrals, but, I mean, there's some places should provide that, I would imagine, right, where you could at least talk to an another family that's had a good experience? Um, you can. They may not provide the, the names, but what you do have a right to do is go to the facility. You have a right to meet the staff, yeah. meet the, the nursing assistants that will be caring for your loved ones. Um, look at the others while you're there. Do right. they look like they're well groomed? Do they look like they're happy? Do the, do the, does the staff know them by name? Mm -hmm. um, that tells a lot. Well, it tells a whole lot. I know yeah. when we were looking for my grandmother, the first thing is a smell. Yes. If you can tell mm -hmm. that it, it smells good and homey, mm -hmm. then you know that it's going to be a good place. But if it smells, right. you know, that smell. That, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So. Another thing to really look out for is the staffing levels. Yeah. Um, uh, that's something you, you can't care for a, a resident the way they right. need to be cared for if there's not enough staff there. No matter, yeah, how no matter what are. the intent is, if you're overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to do the job. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Okay, so listen, if you need more information, you can call these guys, 855-202-2628. You can also log on to HWNN. Dot com. Great advice. Yes, Thanks indeed. for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All you right, got it. Hang tight because okay. we're going to take a quick break. Yeah, more LEX 18 News at 1230 in just a moment.